let us continue with our lesson and in the previous video we all have already learned about how to start a service and also how to stop a service so on the next step what we'll be learning is we will go and create a one new method to generate a random number so whenever our service gets started we will be generating a random number and when we stop our service we will stop the generation of our random number so uh, what we'll do is when we are on on start command when the service triggers are on start command then we will generate a random number so let's go and see in a practical way how we can do this let us create a one new method to generate a, our random number and before we can generate the random number we will be needing some of the variables so let's go to the top over here and we will create a boolean variable first boolean and we will call it as uh, each on so that should be fine and what we'll do is we will need a uh, one integer variable and we'll call it as a uh, let's give a uh, m random number and also we will need a uh, one static variable to of uh, let's say private and we just call as a static and we will call it as a integer variable of a max and we will give a value of 1000 so with a range of a max 1000 we will generate a random number so let's go on at the bottom over here and let us create a one new method and we'll call it as a private generate random number and inside this we will write our code so first we will check whether our variable boolean is on is on uh, if it is true then we will run our code so what we'll do is we will need to write a loop so for that we will use our while loop while is on while it is on what well it is true or else uh, what we'll do is we'll go and generate a random number and we'll also check whether if we have to check uh, if each on then actually we will go and create a gen, a gen a random number else if it is false then we will go and break from our loop and on the top here let's go inside the if condition here we will generate a random number so m random number is equals to new random and in random we dot next int it will generate a next integer for us and inside this we need to give a max we need the max value so when max is a one 1000 so the range is 1000 um, with the range of 1000 it will generate a random number first and when the random number is generated we will log it and show it in our log at log dot e and the tag name and we will just say the random number and we just pass the m random number over here and we'll just print it out So that's uh, our code is ready to generate a random number and what we have to do is we have to generate it after our on start command so when the service get on start command we will be triggering this on generate number and before generating number our each on value should be true so the boolean value should be true so what we'll do is we'll put as the each on each on each equals to true and that will make the loop to run and we will pass the uh, we will set the generate random number over here so that way uh, we is will be set true and the while loop will trigger and it will also go inside and check whether it is on or off so it is on then it will generate the random number and while it is off it will break the loop so let's go and run our app our app is running and let's go to the logcat over here and let's clear the logcat and 
open our or start our service so let's start the service and it is generating a random number over here what you will notice over here is that our app will get when we click on the button stop my service it's uh, not responding so it's which is blocking our main UI thread the service is blocking this service and generating a random number which is doing a heavy background task to generate a random number it's actually blocking our main thread so what is a thread so on the next lesson we'll go and see how to run our app in a different thread or how to generate our random number in a different thread that will protect our main thread from crashing so now you can see the app is going to crash because it is doing a heavy work in the same thread to generate a random number that's why it's causing our app to crash so let's see in the next lesson that how what is a thread and how to create a new thread and how to run our code in a new thread i will see you in the next video till then have a great day